state of nature, if you will, is presumption of liberty. Everyone here is free to do whatever they please, unless there is a law that explicitly states otherwise. You want to walk into a bank after hours, you may do so. Unless there is a law in place that explicitly states that you cannot. So the presumption is one of liberty. The law guarantees your freedom. But what the law also does is provide instances when your freedom can be curtailed. I'll give you an example. There is a law that explicitly states that if a person is driving, is operating a motor vehicle, and they are queried by a police officer, they have to provide their license. So you see here that what you have is a balance. What the police are trying to do is to create conditions where they can elicit as much information from you as they would like. Their role is to execute the law. To do so, they require information. Now laws that permit these type of invasions, these laws are necessary because we have a presumption of liberty. You only have an obligation to accompany a police officer if you are either A, being detained, or B, under arrest. Whether detention or arrest, in both instances, what the police need is a law that grants them the right to violate your presumption of liberty. Now the police can arrest you with a warrant or without a warrant if they've witnessed you commit an offense that is punishable by incarceration or if they have good cause to suspect that you have committed an infringement punishable by incarceration. So this is where racial profiling comes in. And this is why we have these protections in place. Because police officers, just like judges, just like lawyers, just like bricklayers, just like lecturers and students, are people. And they have opinions and views and biases and preferences. And so to eliminate, or at least attempt to eliminate, subjectivity, we establish a series of laws that are meant to create an objective standard. In New Zealand, they do not have power to detain someone to pose questions. But what do the police do when they want information? Simple. They try to encourage you to surrender that information voluntarily. Now, the aim of the game is to delay arresting the person for as long as possible. A detention or arrest triggers a series of statutory rights, including, most importantly, the right to legal counsel. If they do not detain you, if they do not arrest you, you cannot claim those statutory rights. So what we're getting at here is that you cannot be detained or arrested simply to answer questions. And by not arresting you and not detaining you, they're not triggering your statutory rights, specifically the right to counsel. This right to legal counsel we find in the Bill of Rights Act. And the Bill of Rights Act says that you have the right to consult a lawyer without delay. What do the police have to tell you about your right to legal counsel? Now, in New Zealand, they do not have to tell you that the lawyer is free. They do have in other jurisdictions, such as Canada, but they do not. Well, here we go. What to do if the police ask you to go to the station for questioning? Ask whether you are being detained or under arrest. If the answer is no, refuse to go. Can the police question you about anything? Yes. Police can ask you anything they please. You don't have to answer because there is what is known as a presumption of liberty. 
Anyone here ever encounter a vampire before? Probably not. But one thing I can say to you about vampires is that vampires and the police have something in common. They can't come into your home unless you invite them. <laughs> so you can refuse to let the police into your home. Now this leads to a conflict of interest. Now our individual rights are protected by the Bill of Rights Act. We as a society believe that everyone should have these basic rights. Police powers are also protected by law. So individual rights and police powers, which can often be conflicting, are both protected by law. So the state has an interest in investigating crime, but we have an interest in being free. And so there's a balance. It's always about a balancing act. And as you shift in the direction that the world has gone since the World Trade Centers came down, we shift more towards police powers. And we say that people should be detained for longer and longer periods of time. So in the UK, for instance, you can be detained for 14 days without being brought before a judge while being questioned without having access to a lawyer. And they had a bill before Parliament just last year to extend that to 27 days. And why does the state want that much power? Because they want to be able to investigate. What's motivating it is a desire to investigate these acts with as few limitations as possible. In other places, right on the other side, we've got this presumption of liberty. And we're trying to protect our freedoms as much as we can. We do believe as a society there are instances where our freedom should be curtailed. So for instance, I'm sure many people here are happy that people can't just puff up, light up a cigarette and smoke away. We're happy about that. So we appreciate certain limits, but it's always about a balancing act. And we're moving in one direction or another.